Okay, so this video is a look at He-Man Classics 1987 film. I have loved the 1987 live action He-Man film from the first time I saw it in the cinema. I can sort of see why some fans don't like it, but I've never had a problem with it. I think it's totally underrated. It's fast paced, there's tons of action, it has a great score by Bill Conti, and Dolph Lundgren makes for a perfect He-Man. What's not to like? So these figures are the He-Man classics based on this film. First is Blade, who as you can see is totally awesome. Not only is he a great character, but there's also a great amount of nostalgia connected with him too. I remember seeing the 80s version of this figure as a kid in a supermarket, but was unable to buy it as I was only a kid and had no money. So I'm really glad they did him and did such a fantastic job too. The guy who plays him must be a real sword martial artist in real life, as in the credits he also doubles for Skeletor during the fight scenes, so Dolph Lundgren fights him twice. This is my latest one, Sorod. I've always liked his look, a reptilian guy in gold armour. But he's not on screen long enough for me. He's charged with getting the cosmic key back off He-Man, along with Blade, Beastman and Karg. They of course fail, and as a punishment, Skeletor executes Sorod. I always think he should have executed Karg, as he was the least interesting of the four. He's a short purple alien guy, with long hair and a hook for a hand. Sorod was much more interesting. Having said that though, if they do a Karg figure in this line, I'd definitely get it. It's already in my safe searches on eBay. Last is Gwildor, another character most team and fans don't like from the film, but I don't mind him at all. I think he's supposed to be the film's version of Orko, the flying imp magician from the cartoon, but the budget couldn't stretch that far, so they made this dwarf character instead. I think the limited budget is also the reason there's no battle cat in the film either. A huge talking green tiger would have been hard to do in 1987. This comes with two cosmic keys, which are the cause of all the trouble in the film. One frame to carry and a larger one. I've got Castle Grayskull from the 2003 cartoon. If I ever open these up, the bigger cosmic key is going in there, away from Skeletor's grasp. So that was a look at He-Man Classics 1987 film, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.